can we find music and tools for emotional well-being? That's the topic we're going to address today on Flourishment. I'm your host, Tina Yeager. Today, I have a wonderful, beautiful guest today with a very important message about health and wellness and healing for our souls and our hearts. Her name is Angela De La Pena, and she is with Fellowship Creative. That's a group of creative artists and songwriters from Dallas, passionate about Music Jesus and their local church, and they are here to help people. They're on mission. They just released a brand new album called The Help Project to help those that are in any difficult season that they're going through. Welcome, Angela. I am so thrilled to have you on Flourishment today. Thank you so much, Tina. It's such a pleasure to be with you today. So tell us what part you play in Fellowship Creative and what got you started on this Help Project album. So I am one of the writers that's a part of Fellowship Creative. And really, Fellowship Creative is um, made up of a group of artists who are first and foremost passionate about the local church, specifically our church located in Dallas, Texas, Fellowship Church. Um, So a lot of us are worship leaders at our various campuses. So our, our main focus is always just building the local church. And so I am part of that team. So I lead worship here at Fellowship Church, as well as a bright music that we released with Fellowship Creative. Um, I've been with the church for eight years now. So I've been a part of Fellowship Creative for that long now. Um, Time flies, but it's been really great to be a part of just all of the stuff that we're able to do within the church. And really the music that we're able to release is just an extension of what's happening in our church and what we're experiencing excited um, to see God do through it. So you are on mission as collectively as Fellowship Creative to really help people who are suffering and struggling mentally and emotionally and in their lives with identity crisis, all kinds of things. What really gave you this specific mission to target those needs for the people in your audiences beyond the church? You know, we see the people that come in and out of our church every day, and that's not all just members of our church. That's people who are searching for something more, people who are searching for help. And so we see those people and we see the needs that they have. And we just know, you know, turn on your TV, scroll through social media, and you just see that the need is there. And you know that we're all struggling. We all need help. You need help. I need help. And we would be selfish if we didn't share the hope that we do have and the help that we do know is there that is Jesus. So that was our main, our main mission, our main inspiration behind this project, just being able to share the light that we have. So how does this help grow the local church when we offer tools for helping people with their emotional crises? I believe we're called to serve. And, you know, when you've been helped, helped people help people. So part of growing in your relationship with Christ and growing in your relationship at your local church is not just focusing on yourself, but focusing on others as well, helping others through their journey and through their pain and through their process of healing. And when you're able to do that, you're able to grow your yourself as well so we just believe that you know helped people should help people and so if you like I said earlier if you have a a solution if you have a light that should be shared and it shouldn't be hidden or just kept for yourself I love that and I love that you're actually asking people to talk about their pain and their crises openly in the hospital that is the church of Jesus Christ where we can come together and we can find hopefully that safe place where people can find healing. Can you talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. We see that a lot, obviously, in in all ages and stages of life. Everybody will need help at one point or other, but we see it the most in our students, in the youth of today, in our teenagers. I mean, if you look at statistics, it's so different from when we were younger, um, from what I've gone through. It's, It's very different now with technology and just what that does to a person's state of mind. And you see spikes in depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts for these teenagers nowadays because they're dealing with so much. We're able to to see that in the church day in and day out. We wanted to be able to find a way to help and to be able to show people that it's okay to show when they're not okay and it's okay to 
ask for help and look for help. And it's all about where you're looking for that help and where you're finding that. We are not professional psychologists. We're firm believers of Christian counseling. And that's something that our pastors, Ed and Lisa Young, have been very encouraging about. And they're very open about their journey with counseling. And so that's something we encourage here at the church. Uh, We encourage people to go to, you know, their pastors, to their youth leaders, to whatever that may look like, but just encouraging people that they can be honest and open. And then obviously, first and foremost, with Jesus, they can come to him and come in prayer and come in humility and and he's not afraid of our pain. So it's it's okay to be open and transparent with him. So instead of having this plastic church where everybody looks perfect and all their smiles are on, you're inviting people to come with their snotty cries and their messes and bring all the real to yes. Jesus and find that we really are all in need of some kind of healing at some point and be honest about that. So you can actually get healing. And I love that you're doing this for the youth the student ministries, because like you said, the statistics are very concerning about what's going on with the mental health of the younger generations of people and how they were affected by all of the shutdowns and the isolation, getting them back together. And music, is that something that you chose as the vehicle to draw people together into these safe spaces for a specific reason? What was it that prompted music to be the way that you reach out to these kids we're always writing about what we experience just ourselves as a writer first and foremost but then obviously as a collective group as fellowship creative we are always trying to write about what's happening in our church there's one particular song on the album called phone song and it's about you know disconnecting so that we can reconnect with jesus there was a young woman at our church who i i want to say her phone was broken or she might have gotten it taken away something like that but she had to be without it for a week or so and she was experiencing symptoms almost like that of a withdrawal almost like it was a drug and she started getting these serious anxiety and panic attacks and that's kind of what sparked the inspiration for a phone song Mm -hmm. especially students especially youth they're always searching for new music or whether they're listening to it through social media it's in the back of a a video that they're watching in the background, whatever that may be. But we know that it's a powerful tool that God has given us. And it's a great way that we know how to express ourselves. So that was just an obvious way for us to be able to share it. But we also have other resources out there available um, in regards to the HELP Project. We have um, what's called the HELP Project book. And that's just a workbook that can kind of work you through your pain. We also have resources if you're part of a local church, if you're a pastor or a youth pastor and you'd like to talk about this subject, we have resources there, messages and outlines and things like that um, to use. So we just want to help empower people to help others as well. Fantastic. So how can people get in touch with Fellowship Creative and access these resources? So you can find us at fellowshipcreative.com or you can find us on any social media platform as Fellowship Creative. Um, You can also go to thehelpproject.com and that will take you to all of these resources. There's all kinds of things like I've already mentioned and that there's also plenty of like resources like hotlines and links to recommendations for counseling and all kinds of things like that. So if you need help, that's a great place to start. Thank you so much, Angela. I hope that all of you listening were inspired to be the light of Christ for people who are experiencing darkness and struggle in their lives. And of course, I hope that you will also hit subscribe and come back for the next episode of Flourishment.